The first stop on the journey from Zurich to COP27 is in Milan. Here, Swiss Re Corporate Solutions client Pirelli has their headquarters. As a household name in mobility, Pirelli is at the heart of the fast-changing, data-driven mobility landscape. We want to know from their leaders how they're adapting. First, we are meeting with Matteo Battaini and asking him about Pirelli's sustainability journey. It is uh, putting uh, technology and innovation together to create uh, uh, innovative product, uh, safer products, uh, more energy efficient tires and uh, longer lasting and uh, with uh, a higher rate of uh, innovative uh, uh, renewable materials in it. Matteo explains that sustainability expectations have grown and to meet these, Pirelli is leveraging technology and R&D. This journey is made up from a solid decarbonization plan with ambitious target. We do have long-term tar targets of net zero SBTI approved and mid-term target that are at 2030 with carbon neutrality for our scope one and two, so our internal production and distribution activities. He emphasizes Pirelli's commitment to accelerate their net zero journey but he points out that it will be possible only with collaboration with others. To reach the global goals, the public and private sector should cooperate and should collaborate more to create the programs that are financially sustainable. One of Pirelli's projects is an e-bike program called Cycle Around. It is led by Francesco Bruno. He explains that Milan's mobility landscape is evolving. It has recently turned a further 35 kilometers of streets into cycling and walking spaces. It's a, a rental service of e-bike dedicated to private communities. They can download our digital platform, book the bike and take to get to, to go back to home or to come back to the office the next day. The idea is to create more opportunities for people to use their bike. And in a complementary way compared to the private usage of vehicles, e-bikes should become one of those modal way of transportation that can be integrated, the traditional way of moving of everyone. Pirelli has operated for 150 years, but it is no newcomer to the cycling industry. Their first ever product was a bicycle tire before their focus turned to auto and motorcycle. Mobility service providers are offering highly networked data-driven business models. To remain relevant, insurers need to understand this changing mobility technology and societal preferences. Having a bike uh, is becoming uh, like having a second car, for example. And uh, for insurer, it's important to consider this as a changing behavior in the, in the choice of a transportation mode by families, by people. So uh, having the proper solution that is able to provide the, the right way of make secure the, 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 the trip and the ride of bikers, it's crucial. And it's going uh, in the, it goes in the direction of intercepting this kind of trends. As we leave, we take away that this is just one example of many efforts and possibilities underway in the hashtag Race to Resilience. Pirelli is one of those partners for progress. <laughs>